Bubba Wallace and Eric Almirola have been linked for seven seasons. Before the two drivers started the rivalry, however, one driver was tapped to replace the other. Eric Almirola suffered a compression fracture of his T5 vertebrae in a devastating crash in a 2017 spring race at Kansas Speedway. He lost 15 to 20% of height in his vertebrae as a result, and he sat out for seven races. Richard Petty Motorsports picked Regan Smith to substitute for Almirola in the first three races, then Wallace for the next four. Before Wallace jumped in for his Cup Series debut at Pocono Raceway, Almirola texted him. The two drivers disagree to this day on the nature of the text. While Bubba did not disclose the specifics, he described Almirola's text as quote-unquote less than friendly. Almirola says it was advice, with the paramount piece being, don't make the king mad, quote-unquote. Wallace drove three seasons for RPM before moving to 2311 racing in the 2020-2021 offseason, where he continues to drive to this day. The pair did not have any major run-ins until the 2023 Coca-Cola 600. During a rain delay in the event, Almirola confronted Wallace on pit road. The two drivers had a heated discussion, Almirola shoved Wallace, and then they were separated. Here is a video of that altercation. Front stretches Jared Haas spoke to El Marola after the race, and here is his side of that conflict. Man, so let's start off with the obvious. What happened with you and Bubba, and what kind of came came down to that point? Uh, I was just early in the race, and uh, I felt like he run me uh, all over the racetrack, and then when he got by me, um, the, you know, he shot me the bird. So I just went to ask him why he shot me the bird. I felt like I gave him a lot of room and gave him a lot of respect. And he started mouthing off and um, saying a lot of bad things and cussing at me after he shot me the bird. So I just told him I wasn't going to take that. Is it squash at this point or is it something to kind of keep an eye on? No, I think it's squash. I mean, we're fine. I, 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 I got my point across. I, uh, I let him know that it's not acceptable. He's not going to he's not gonna cuss at me and shoot me the bird. Um, so. Front stretcher's Trenton Worsham was among those who spoke to Bubba Wallace after the race to get his take on the situation. Yeah, Amarola, he, Amarola said that you were cussing at him and that's why he shoved you. Is that a, a accurate? Just being passionate, man. You know, we're racing hard for a second <laughs> stage and, and we finished fourth, so that's a good day. Let's start the conversation with the 10 now. Ah, uh, I don't know. We were trying to figure out how finished fourth and we did it, so yeah, I guess we guess he didn't. <laughs> were you surprised at his reaction? No, that's uh, when you, when you walk around with two faces, that's what you get. Following the 2023 season, Almirola retired from full-time NASCAR Cup Series competition. Joe Gibbs Racing inked him to a partial Xfinity Series schedule for the 2024 season. Even though Almirola and Wallace are not direct teammates, they now are both under the Toyota umbrella and attend the same competition meetings. JGR and 2311 meet each week before the Cup and Xfinity races, and the two drivers began attending meetings together at the start of the season. 
During the meeting before this year's races at Charlotte Motor Speedway, as reported by Jordan Bianchi of The Athletic, the drivers got into an altercation and again had to be separated. According to Bianchi, the team, quote-unquote, viewed Almirola as the instigator and swiftly indefinitely suspended him, putting Ty Gibbs in the number 20 instead. Before news of the altercation came out, Joe Gibbs called Almirola's removal from the number 20 a team decision. After the altercation was made public, Bubba Wallace was asked about his perspective on the situation. Here are his comments, courtesy of Front Stretch's own Mark Crystal. Uh, can you say anything about what happened between you and Amarola that resulted in him getting suspended? I don't suspended. want me to get the details. <laughs> Keep some people's images good. I think I said enough at Charlotte last year. So, uh, all in all, life is good for me. You know, that shit happened over a month ago. And a lot of goods come my way. Um, and that's what I'm focused on. Uh, focused on getting our stuff turned back around. Uh, and, you know, off the racetrack, I'm focused on the, my wife and uh, baby boy that's uh, growing and growing. So that's all you can really ask for. So things are good for me off track. Uh, not so much on track. That's what we're focused on right now. So there you go. That's the only question you'll get. So. Denny Hamlin said about the fight, quote, we let JGR handle it. He did not elaborate beyond this comment. At the time of this video, there seems to be no love lost between the two drivers. Almirola is due to return to the number 20 Xfinity car in two weeks at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Pennzoil 250, and we will see if this is the last chapter of their story. Thank you all for watching. Steven Stump of FrontChurch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos, and if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.